The Add IP Camera page allows you to add and configure IP cameras to a network server. In order to do this, your camera must be on the same network as the server you wish to connect it to. This means that the first three segments of the IP address of the camera should match the first three segments of the server IP address. For example, a server with an IP address 192.164.1.2 can connect to cameras with IP addresses that start with 192.164.1. To check the IP address of your server, select the configuration option. Open the server system window and click on the network tab. The IP address is displayed on this page. To find the IP address of your camera, use the camera manufacturer's discovery utility. These utilities, while all slightly different, will walk you through the steps to find the IP address of the camera. Once you find the IP address, you should change it to match the first three segments of the server IP address. While you are in the utility, change and note the username and password for the IP camera. You will need this information when adding the IP camera to the server. If you have any questions about whether or not Exact Vision has integrated with the camera you are using, please reference the IP camera integration page on our website. Here you can find a full list of camera manufacturers, models, and the various levels of compatibility associated with those cameras. Once you have connected the IP camera to the network, you are ready to add it to your Exact Vision server. In the configuration window, select the server, then expand the system menu and click the Add IP Camera option. From the Add IP Cameras window, Click on the Rescan Network button to discover new cameras on your network. Now, click on the IP camera you wish to add to the network. The camera will appear in the IP camera list. If adding multiple cameras, select the cameras and click Add Selected. Otherwise, verify that the IP camera information is correct for the camera you are selecting and then click Apply to enable the camera. The status column for the camera will change from not connected to connecting and eventually to connected. The new camera is now available for viewing in the client. Alternatively, you can manually connect a camera. Do this by clicking the new button under the IP camera list. Then, in the IP camera information area, select the device type to load the proper driver for that camera. If the proper driver is not available and the device is OnVIF compliant, Select the OnVIF driver. Note that RTSP compliant cameras can stream video, but not motion detection or camera configuration data. Enter the IP address of the camera. Verify that the port address is correct. Then enter the login information for the camera and click the apply button. If everything was entered correctly, the new IP camera will be added to the IP camera list and connected.